guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm doing a Aldi and Next haul. In case you guys didn't know, this entire month I am doing Monday through Friday uploads. But if you guys have not been following along, I would definitely suggest subscribing down below. Just that way you guys can see all of our posts. So I'm going to get started with what we got at the Next and also Aldi. So the first thing that we got at the Next was... Really the main reason why we went was to get some sort of workout thing. This is three medicine balls or kettle balls. That's what they're called. They were $39 and it comes with a five pound, a 15 pound and a 10 pound. So if you guys have been looking for any sort of exercise equipment, you know that it is nearly impossible to find. This was $39 for three of them, which I can't decide if it's a good price or a terrible price, but Whatever, it feels like they're price gouging workout equipment right now. The next things we got for the next are just some pads for me. And then if you guys didn't know, I'm like essential oil obsessed. I got this Aromi tension headache one. It's heads up, but it helps tension headaches. And I have really bad tension headaches slash migraines. So I just wanna try something to see if it works. And then if you didn't know, we switched to natural cleaning. And I've heard so much about seventh generation stuff. I got the laundry detergent packs. We've had the laundry detergent before and I really like it. And then I also got the d dishwasher detergent. I know that these aren't as amazing as they could be, but for the price and I am allergic to literally everything, these are right. And then the things we got at Aldi, we first got this four slot toaster. We've been meaning to get one of these for the longest time. It was also only $24.99 at Aldi today. And yeah, I don't know if they're gonna have it by the time this video is up. I think they might for like a day left, but today is July 30th. I know that this video is probably going up like the 4th, I think. And then the next thing I got at Aldi was this little cactus. Is this not the cutest little thing? I have absolutely no idea how much this was. I think like under a dollar, but whatever. I thought it was literally the cutest thing. Next on to the first bag. We actually were able to use our reusable bags today, which was amazing. We literally haven't been able to for the past like couple months since COVID. This is the most exciting thing. They got my gluten-free Rice Krispie Treats back and I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just need something like this. And Rice Krispie Treats used to be like my thing, but since I have celiac disease, I don't like to eat anything that doesn't like have labeled gluten-free or, you know, things like that, like certified gluten-free. The next thing I got is the French vanilla coffee. We recently got just like the pour over coffee or the whatever that is called from Walmart for $9 because I have been really wanting hot coffee in the morning and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like my Nespresso coffee hot. So I only use that for iced coffee and like lattes and stuff. I still get a good use of, out of it, but there's nothing like a hot cup of coffee. And yeah, so I got this one to try. I have really never tried different types of coffee. Like I always get French vanilla or something. So I don't know. I don't know if I should try something new. Next thing I got are two things of the gluten-free plain bagels. I love bagels. The next thing I got are turkey slices. This is oven roasted turkey. I really like turkey sandwiches. The next thing we got is a steak. Brendan likes these steaks. They're only $7.19 and we always just split it in half. Next, Brendan got black forest ham and the Colby Jack cheese. He loves this ham. But yeah, Brendan really likes this ham and he always gets Colby Jack cheese. The next thing we got is the organic chicken. We always eat organic chicken now. I think we made this switch back in like, I don't know, before quarantine, but it's just been a really good thing. Next thing we got is four of the strawberry yogurts. I really want to get into eating yogurt in the morning. And I used to get the light uh, light strawberry yogurt, but they don't have it anymore. So Brenda got the light vanilla ones. I don't really like vanilla yogurt. Kind of like tastes like a kiddish thing. I don't know. And then the next thing I saw and just need it was hard salami. I don't know why I love salami and cheese. Brendan's gonna be in the back putting stuff away just so that way nothing's on the counter. Brenda got potato bread. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had potato bread. I've had potato rolls before, but not since going gluten free. And then he got these bagels. He has been eating these a lot more recently. Normally they'll just go really bad. Next we got these red citrus grapes. They were 75 cents a pound today, so that's why we got them. Then we got four gala apples just to have as a snack, I guess. Next, Brendan got a monster. 
He got these rain ones. I don't know what they are. Razzleberry and melon mania. Then we've never tried avocado oil for like normal cooking. We used the spray, but we got this avocado oil. It was only $6.99. If we like it, we'll probably get it from Costco next. Then we got another thing of ketchup, just because Brendan eats ketchup, like, I don't know, a lot. Next, we got these to try. They're seaweed, they're sweet and salty. Honestly, I don't know if we're gonna eat these, but we'll try them and see what we think. And then I saw these and I just thought they were absolutely adorable. They are <laughs> mini hash browns. I'm not really supposed to eat all these stuff because nothing is labeled gluten free. But do you see how cute they are? They're just mini hash browns. They're not even like the hash brown rounds. They're just mini hash browns. They're so cute. Next, I got some more light syrup. I should probably get like pure maple syrup, but I don't know. I just like to stick with what I know. Then I got some turkey bacon. I want to start eating this in the morning again. I used to eat it with a bagel every morning and I don't know. I want to start eating that again. Next, I got these. These are called nibblers. They are mozzarella cheese, but I just thought they were so cute. I'm going to eat them with my salami after this. There's a trend here today. I don't know if you guys noticed. What's the trend? Small things. <laughs> Kelly thought were cute that we got today. What do you mean? What else other than those two yeah, things? The salami, the cheese, the cactus. Oh, yeah. Anything that's tiny, I like. Oh! I also had the mini avocados. Mini avocados. <laughs> I just thought they were cute, but I actually want to try them. Every time I buy avocados, I never eat them because I have no idea how to check when they are right. Next, I got these creamy pepper jack things. I want to get crackers for these. Brendan got Chips of Boys and Goldfish. He used to see goldfish, like an unhealthy amount of goldfish, but then we got married and he's literally not gotten goldfish since. So he said he was gonna change that. And then Brendan got these. They look pretty good. They're 20 calorie bars, vanilla cream bars. But yeah. And then I really like these, the Santa Fe tortilla strips. I don't know why I couldn't say that, but they're really good on taco salad. And then the last thing, the most exciting thing, I got more cream cheese. I figured we will try the seaweed on camera. I don't know if we're gonna like it. I figured it'll either taste bad or it would taste like nothing but whatever they like season it with. Like, I think this is just like salt and sugar. Okay. So. They look terrible. I don't know how people eat these. Like, look at this. I'm sure you've seen seaweed before. Maybe we'll become those people that eat them. I like coffee. I don't think we're gonna become those people. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see any more of our grocery hauls, please let me know down below. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.